Oh, what's going on, Rizzy here, and welcome to another first look. Today, we're looking at Heat Death Train Survival. It actually looks pretty neat, and it actually kind of reminds me of like some games that like used to be in development, some games that like you know we used to check out early. So, anyways, we're hopping in. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do like subscribe, all fun things. New game. Let's do it. Loading world now. Log entry. I woke up in a lab, hooked up to machines and wires, not knowing who or I am or where I am. The lab was silent and empty. I stumbled out of the building into a frozen wasteland. No life, no warmth, no hope, just snow and rocks. There's a train track. The only thing that seems to lead somewhere. Could it take me to civilization or at least some answers? I'll follow these train tracks for now. All right, so we got basic movements and uh, yeah. Oh, ooh. okay. Liking what I see. All right, so these must be the train tracks. Looks like a futuristic train, if you ask me. I mean, look at that. It looks cool. All right. So, uh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, cool. Here we go. Uh, your stats. You can monitor your stats using the bars uh, on the bottom left. First shows your health. Second shows your stamina. And third shows your suit's power. Okay, so we have a suit on. We have some kind of suit power, which is neat. All right. So, let's take these train tracks down here and see what we've got going on. Oh, there's like a ring around the planet. That's cool. Okay, and then we have like a whole like camp here. Now, the premise I believe of this is um, basically we're gonna get on a train and we we like make a base on a train as we go through different places and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if we, we stop, like I'm gonna guess this is probably where we get our train. Power system, each city has its, each city has its own power system. You need to activate power generators and batteries. Then you can turn the power on. Uh, you can find all of them inside the control center building. Okay, well, that answers that question. There's probably gonna be multiple cities that we stop in. Um, this looks neat. Oh, we got a drone over there. I bet you the drone is not a friend. I just would have to say that the drone is probably not a friend. Um, okay, so here's the control center. No power command center. Okay, so let's pop into here. Uh, flashlight is T. A flashlight helps you make dark now. Okay, obviously. Oh, it, but it uses power. No power storage storage. What is that? No power energy storage. Okay. Uh, control panels. You can interact with some control panels to do that. Simply get close to them. Uh, and then your mouse to select any key on the screen. Interact with it. Okay. So interact. Okay, so I, I turned something on. Is there anything else in here? I don't see anything. It looks like a big huge server room or something. Okay, let's get up here. Uh, no power. Okay, well, here's number three. I saw you might have skipped number two. All right, we'll turn that on. And then... Oh, here's another one. Okay. All right, saving the game. You can save the game using body scanners. You'll find them inside stations... Uh, and some of the buildings. Okay, so we probably want to save the game. Save game. Minus 100 station power. Okay, we'll do that. Hey, now I wonder if that, does that charge us or anything? No. Oh, what is this? Ooh, unlock blueprint. Engine tier one, one of three found. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna be finding blueprints that way. And then we got storage keycard. Hey, I managed to fix the storage room's door, but it was a hassle. Some of the wires uh, were fried and I had to replace them with spare parts. There's some useful stuff in there that might help us our journey back. P.S. I had to change the key code because everyone knew the old one. The new key code is written down below. Don't forget it. 5011. Okay, got it. Oh, all right. So I actually need to look for stuff that I can collect on the desks. Now it looks like they did a pretty good job of identifying um, what you can what you can collect and what you can't collect this is such a this is so interesting i miss i feel like there was i feel like we've we there was a time in game development where people were developing games like i don't want to say similar to this but of this same type you know like open world they're you know they're testing out you know different structures different things like that putting things together making like making making interesting things um and I feel like a lot of new stuff now. Oh, energy drink. We'll take that. I feel like a lot of new stuff now is like it's it just it doesn't it's not the same anymore. It's like we went there was like a phase of, you know, open world survival 
exploration kind of games and now it's like it's it's like it's kind of gotten away from that it's like it seems like we're trying to people are trying to make simpler games again and uh, i miss these i miss these type of games like being in development you know um okay interact oh here let's turn our torch off uh five zero one one okay <laughs> not, there's not a whole lot in here. Smart material. Okay. Smart material. Uh, material, strong and rigid material that can be used in printing structural components. Okay, so we'll take those. I imagine we're going to want everything that we can hold, right? Yeah, loot everything. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a back door. <laughs> it's a secret back door. Oh, man, that's funny. Okay. All right, so we've been in here. Uh, my suit power is like terrible. Habitat, maybe? Do I need to go in there? How do I get? How do I get my suit power back up? Oh, you know why? It's because I left my if I, I left my flashlight on too long, probably. Glint, our last hope. Dynamic seasons. Oh, that looks really cool. This whole thing looks really neat. Very neato. Um, power state lights interact. Uh, officer, what is this? Biogen, use the biogen to craft energy drinks, foods, and first aid kits. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Oh, hold on, there's more blueprints in here. That's engine tier one. Is there a way to charge anywhere? Uh, let's see, let's pop up storage. <gasps> hey, we got some more items here, okay. Let's see, we got some smart material over here. And, uh, oh, what this thing is. It's a, it's a nothing. Okay. Let's look in here. Uh, any, any things that I need to pick up? Any research? Can I interact with that? What is that? Tech scrap? Oh, that's probably handy. So wonder what, I uh, wonder where everybody went. What's the deal? Why is this place abandoned? What happened? Did the drones go crazy and kill everybody? Probably. That's what happens with AI. You know, what's funny. <laughs> Tomorrow is the day we're leaving this place for good, but I have to admit I'm feeling a bit nervous. It's not going to be a walk in the park. We still have a long way to go, but I have we have no idea what's out there and what threats we'll face. We have to be ready for anything. It's especially going to be tough for me and Mia. We're the ones who have to watch over others. I doubt I'll be able to sleep, will I? Oh, so they, they did. They left for a reason. They were planning on leaving for a reason. So, okay, it wasn't evil AI taking over everything like we all thought it was. I know. I know we all thought it was. I, I thought it was, too. <laughs> um, okay. All right, what do we got in here? I'm missing a... I'm missing one thing. I bet it's in I bet it's in the other building. Okay. Let's see, nothing here. Looks good. Okay, so we. I think we got everything here. I think we have everything here. This is a neat place. Um, probably should shut the doors, though. All right, so we've got a tower. Do we go up the tower? Let's go up the tower. We better go up the tower. Can I, can I go up the tower? Yes. Okay. <gasps> you know what? I think those blue flowers are what was needed for the um, one of the energy drink recipes. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, hello. Some more material. Take that. Is there anything in the chest? No. <gasps> Is there anything else up here? Uh, no, that was it. Okay. Hey, you know what? We got free stuff. Um, I'm not going to see if there's fall damage or not. <laughs> I really don't want to know. I don't want to know. No, thank you. We'll just try to be safe about everything. Ooh. Yeah. See, look at these, these flowers right here. I feel like these flower habitat number two. <gasps> yeah, they were the right ones. Um, I don't know if we can get in that one. Well, let's go in this workstation first. Okay, so, hey, we got a blueprint. Is that engine? Yes. All right, a new home, find the train. Spoiler, I have an idea where the train is. It's probably it's probably in the building that's on the train tracks. I'm just going to say that. I'm just just thinking out loud here. Um, hold on. I want to see what's what's in this one. There's no, is there no way in? Why is the door on this side? Why wouldn't the door be on the other side? Like facing, you know, everybody else. I don't know. Ooh, small battery. Let's go. Oh, we got another letter. Uh, things have been pretty peaceful lately, which is rare in this world. It means we're not in constant danger of being attacked by drones or other threats. I knew it. I knew it was AI. 
I knew it. <laughs> or the threats, but sometimes it also means we're not having any action or excitement. Um, all I've been doing in the past few months is patrolling the lakeside for any signs of danger and then returning back to the outpost. It's the same routine over and over again. It's getting a dull. Maybe I'm being too impatient. Maybe I'm just used to all the amazing fights and missions I've had before. Maybe I should be thankful for what I have instead of wishing for what I don't. Maybe I should enjoy the peace while it lasts because who knows what might happen next. But I can't help it. I'm a ranger after all. I live for adventure and for combat for thrill. All right, so things got peaceful here. That means the drones moved on to somewhere else. They got orders. Icicle ammo? This ammo type can be used for the icicle. It can penetrate medium armor. All right. I like the sound of that. That sounds like a very fun time indeed. Um, okay, oh my gosh, what is this? Oxygen canister? Mm, darn, I can't pick it up. Another small battery. And nothing else, okay. We'll try to get through these a little bit faster here. I have a feeling, um, tech scrap, absolutely. Anything, anything, nothing in here. I feel like we have another, um, no, ooh. Dynamo, one of three? Okay. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad we came in here then. All right, what do we got in here? Um, smart material, we've got more material here. <gasps> insufficient inventory oh no use this planet to craft energy drinks okay you know what hold on let's see do i have enough or does it take four? Oh, it takes four okay um should i consume it i don't feel like i need an energy drink right now though you know what i'm saying should we just drop these let's drop those for now because i feel like this material is probably inventory what oh it's a weight thing Okay, um, let's let's do this. Let's run to the train and let's see if we're gonna get any kind of storage to throw anything in. We may or may not get storage, I don't know. There's the drone right there. He wants to kill us. Um, so we got a dynamo one. I wonder if we check those buildings right over there if we get other dynamos. Yeah, I want, see, I wanna collect all of this stuff here. We might need it, you know? You never know. All right, station, we're going in. Train it. This is your train right now. It's just a few empty wagons, but you'll be able to build whatever you need on it. Oh my goodness. Uh, your train needs at least one engine to start moving. Build an engine. First, you need to learn uh, what resources it requires. Find three blueprint tablets to uh, learn build engines. Uh, resources and inventory. To build anything, you need resources. You can find these resources scattered around and inside chests. You can view resources that you have in your inventory by pressing tab. Got it. Let's shut that door. Oh, I, don't, I don't want a drone just walking in here. Uh, dynamo two of three. Okay. Hold on a second. So small battery charger. You can charge used small batteries using the charger. Oh, wait. So the batteries that I have, are these or battery that contains 50 power? Use it to charge your suit. Oh, see, it'd be nice if I could see my suit power right now. You know what I mean? Okay. Used small battery charge small battery. Okay, it's doing the thing. All right, so here's our train right here. Oh, it's like a maglev. Look how low and low profile it is to the very fancy. All right, so we need some kind of engine. Oh, there's like a scanner deal here. You know what's interesting? It's like this looks like a legit train station that like people would just come in on. I mean, they even have like a waiting area and stuff. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, hey, let's save the game. All right, um, okay, so I need to start, what are these? Unlock ceiling, lock ceiling. What? Okay, I'm not sure exactly what I need for that, but um, okay, so fabricator, smart material screen, mechanical parts, small battery, tech scrap. So it looks like we have different ways to make different things that we've been picking up. How do we, I, okay, here we go. Build menu. You can only start building on your train using the B key. Then select any component you want to build. The list of items you can build will increase as you learn new components. All right, so the first thing that we need is we need an engine. So an engine, I need an engine component. Okay, so we don't have that yet. And we need a dynamo, which is a mechanical part. 
Dynamo is a manual power generator for a train. Oh, oh, and then we get solar panels and then defense. Here's the icicle. Oh, it's a uh, light cannon effective against enemies with medium armor. And then, oh, here's a chest. Should we make the chest? Small storage to keep your extra resources and materials safe. We're gonna build a chest. <laughs> Let's start with a chest. We're gonna put it like right here. Okay, how much can I put in here? Not very much. Well then, all right, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and store. We're gonna store everything we can in here. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and we're gonna do some more exploration, try to get everything else, and then we'll come back and we'll try to build everything we can here. Um, before I do that though, like I said, I'm gonna go, let's go back out here and let's go back in. We're gonna go back in that habitat, try to grab what we can. Then we'll go over there, there, there. We'll hit up all these buildings and see if we can grab everything that we need. Oh, we got another blueprint. Body scanner, one of three, okay. Another small battery. I'm just trying to grab everything I can while we're here. Uh, I'm glad we got the body scanner. That's handy. Okay, hold on, where's our drone friend at? Oh, there's a building all the way up there. Where is that drone at? Oh, he's right there. Oh, we have to go up in that building. You know, there's a drone patrol in this area all the way up there. You know, we've got to go up there. That's where the good stuff is. All right, drone turn, drone turn around. Let's go. We're going to go. Um, we got these little buildings right here. Uh, they're just completely covered. I don't know what they are. Oh, Scrapper. Scrapper is a friendly drone that finds scrap around the map and turns them into materials. If you follow them, they might. Oh, so he's a friend. Oh, Scrapper's a friend, not a foe. Uh, material. Oh my gosh. He's got 13 of these. Let's go. Now what's in, I just looked to see if there's a train coming. <laughs> Guess what? There's probably not a train coming. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's grab the material. Anything up there? Another little chest right here. Oh my gosh, there's six more in here. Okay, hold on. Before I, wait, actually, can I store stuff in here? Before I, yeah, let's store some stuff in here real quick. The reason I want to store stuff in here is because we're gonna go run up to the other building. And I want to make sure that I have room for stuff. Okay, so Scrapper is a friend. Hi, friend. Oh, I'm so glad that Scrapper's a friend. I was, <laughs> I was like, I was kind of worried about this. All right, so we're gonna go up in here. There's, there's got to be good stuff up in here. All right, so workstation. Whoa. Oh, this constant daylight is torture. Yes, I can darken the windows, but it's not the same. It's still artificial, unnatural, and annoying. We don't have the luxury of a day-night cycle here, but we have to endure it. It's ironic, really. We're living on a frozen planet, but we're still stuck on the side that is always facing the glint. We're surrounded by ice and snow, but we're also exposed to the glint's constant light. We're freezing and our eyes are burning at the same time. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Wait on the glint. So that must be the glint. Huh? Okay. So it's constantly daylight here. So we're on a different planet. Like it's official. Like, okay. So I wasn't sure if we were on a different planet or oh, that's a, that's, that is, that looks bad. Um, I wasn't sure if we were on a different planet or if we were on like an, an on earth after, you know, future stuff or whatever. But it definitely seems like we are, we're not on Earth. I probably should have gathered that by the pictures, huh? Okay, see, that's why I left that stuff back there, because I wouldn't have been able to take all that had I had it a full inventory. All right, let's see what we got in here. More energy drinks. It's like a little desk area. We got some notes. A sweet looking laptop with a fake keyboard. I don't know if I would actually like that. I know there's a, I know there's some keyboards that are like glass like that, or like, you know, the, the, the ones that like just display like a projector thing would be weird. Oh, this is like a two in one. This is like a research, like a home, it's like a home research lab lab or something. What did it say? It was gin. Okay. I guess, I guess the physicist needs a, their own special place. Do we already go in here? Yes. Okay, so we went into all of these, all right, so we're ready to go. Okay, so I grabbed what I could out of the storage there. Oh, you know what I just realized? I probably shouldn't have done that. 
I bet the engine blueprint is actually in here because I didn't, I didn't really look around in here a whole lot and that was because like we're in the same building so I might as well go look at the other buildings first and close that okay so let's see engine blueprint I bet you it's something like up here let's see what we oh there's is that the engine core deal ah look at that body scanner engine component but I'm not gonna have any resources storage for that um hold on can I throw things in here maybe store that and store that for now now can I have you no darn it <laughs> my inventory is too full um okay oh there's a big storage right here oh let me store some stuff okay all right where's our engine component right this is engine component we got that now let's see what else we have in here smart material tech scrap uh we could probably take all this stuff now okay let's see what we need to build the engine so going to build going to locomotive engine tier one. Oh, it's not little it's not a little thing i feel like i want to rotate it though i feel like i want to rotate like this and i kind of want it like in the middle here that way we can like defend it you know what i mean like i don't feel like we want this easily accessible we're gonna throw it right there engine control panel you need an engine control panel to start engines to control your train got it fabricating crafting you can craft resources eat uh smart materials and items use fabricated you'll find them inside stations you also you'll be able to build fabricators on your own train too okay cool so there's our tr that's a sick looking engine. I like it. Um, okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to need a engine screen. So I need smart material and a screen. Now, let's see what we need for that. So a screen takes smart material. I have smart material. Did we throw smart material in here? Where did I throw all my smart material? Oh, you know what? It's still in the other storage, isn't it? Let me go ahead. Let me store everything else in here real quick. All right. I'm going to run out there and grab. <laughs> I'm going to grab the rest of my stuff. Okay. I was I was wrong. My smart stuff was definitely not in there. Did we use it all in the engine? We probably we must have. I thought I picked up more smart stuff than that, but I guess not. Oh, you know what? It's in here. <laughs> smart material. All right. So let's take that. Okay. So now do I have this? Oh, no. I need the screen. Okay, so let's pop in here, and we need a screen. So let's make one of those. All right, so we got a screen. Yeah. Now we can have a control. I kind of I want to move this. Can I move that? I wonder if I'll be able to move that eventually. <laughs> because now I'm realizing it's probably in a terrible spot. Uh, okay, so locomotive engine deal. I guess we could just start like this. So I kind of thought it was like perfect, like right there. You know what I mean? Uh, your train has a limited amount of power to monitor it. You should build a power control panel. Got it. That is not centered. Uh, inventory build and in scrap mode. Oh, you know what? It's fine for now. We're too, where I think we're too, uh, too low on resources to like get super worried about it. Um, okay. So power, no locomotive. We need to do the power screen. Okay. So we need another screen. All right, I have smart material. I have material. Let's go ahead and let's get another screen. All right, screen is good and done. And then we'll go ahead and get, uh, let's see, build locomotive power. Screen. Oh, wait, I don't have everything I need. What happens? Nope, not enough smart material. Okay. Do I have any more smart material in here? No. But I believe we can turn regular material into smart material. Yeah, it's a two for one. So two regular material turns into one smart material. So we should be good. No problemo. All right, power screen, let's go. Okay, we're just gonna set that right next to that. Uh, walls, windows, ceilings. Uh, walls, windows, and ceilings keep you warm. Build them on your train to survive the storms. Oh, walls and window orientation. Walls have two sides, white and dark. The white side should face the inside of your train. When building, make sure the arrow points towards the inside. Got it, okay, so we need to build something to stay warm now do i want to build it around the engine i feel like i probably would right like wouldn't we want to build something around the engine maybe all right well let's see what we need to build this stuff okay so wall okay so we just need material window window wall wall floor ceiling stairs door a simple door to provide your entrance uh for your train okay so if i did 
Using windows, you can enclose your train to protect it during storms and have a nice view of the outside world. So let's say we wanted a window. Okay, how many, if I wanted to enclose this whole area, hmm, if I enclose this whole thing, that's gonna take a lot. Okay, let's do this. Let's go into build mode. Let's do wall corners to start with. Let's put one there because I don't know how big we need to make everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know what, if we're gonna be standing right here while the train's going, we probably want a window here. Train engineer, congratulations, you're now train engineer. Customize your train to your liking and discover new parts as you explore the frozen world. World, Got it. Okay, so we probably want that. And then I want one of these right there. And then I need another corner. And then let's see. So if I'm like here doing things, another window might not be bad. But then again, like our windows, windows might not be as safe. You know what I'm saying? They do require less, um, less stuff though. <laughs> You know what? I think we're just going to do that. I think we're going to make that as big as we need to. We're going to do a wall corner here and here. <gasps> Not enough suit power to print. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize it took. Oh, darn it. I can't walk through right there. I didn't realize it took suit power to print. Or to, oh, no. <laughs> do I not have any batteries? Did I throw the batteries in here? I thought I had some extra batteries. Small batteries. How's my inventory look? Okay, we need we need another. We need to use another one. We're going to take these used batteries. We're going to throw them in here. Okay, and then I think the goal, let's see here, if we can, is where's the door? So we're going to need a smart material for that. So let's grab a smart material. How much How much material do I have left? I literally only have two. Oh, I have 23 in here. Oh, we're way, way good. Okay, so let's see how this door works. Like that. Perfect. So now I can interact with my door. I can go to the front of the train if necessary. And then I should be able to put a door on the back right here too. Oh, which means I'm gonna need another smart material. Okay, so that should, yeah, that looks pretty cool. So far so good. I'm not trying to make like a huge room right now either, by any means. And then another door right there, voila. All right, and then hold on, let's go ahead and interact with this, come in here. And then I want ceilings, floor corner, ceiling. Use these tiles as strong ceilings at the very top of the train. Floor, ceiling. Oh, I guess I could use a floor? How does this work? Oh, they're in, they're in like quarter pieces. Kind of hard to tell where the, okay, so there's the corner on that one. And then there's the corner on that one. And then I need the other one, I guess, for the other one. Um, this one probably, I guess, for there and for there. Not enough material. Darn it. Okay. Oh, I really want to rebuild those. Okay, so one more floor right here. Not enough suit power. Oh my gosh. Uh, small battery. Use, use. And boom, it's in, okay. Now, am I able to, I really would like to move stuff, but the, you know what, that is what it is. So let's see, okay. Take that, place another battery in there. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I'm actually really excited about that. Um, okay, is there anything else we can build? Like, like do we have, we don't have anything there. Um, oh shoot, we're gonna need a dynamo. Uh, mechanical parts, scrap material, and tech scrap. I have tech scrap. Uh, mechanical parts? I forgot about the dynamo. Mechanical part. Ooh, I don't know that I, I might, I may have made a mistake because I don't have, I have five material left, which isn't enough to make a dynamo. <laughs> Um, okay, hold on. You know what? Actually, there's smart material. There's smart material. Oh, we might, we might be okay. Let me, let me, let me keep looking around here. Maybe I can find some more, some more stuff. I wonder if the scrapper bot got any more stuff. You know what? I'm going to go into scrap mode. I want to see what happens here. Okay, so there's a chest. They gave me two, they gave me two material and one small thing. Is that, was that what need, was needed to build it? So, others... Oh, it was. So it looks like I could actually move this stuff around if I need to. 
You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to save first. I'm going to see if I can move this stuff around. Okay, we're going to put a small chest right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and store as much of this as I can, which is everything. And then I'm going to go into scrap mode. I think we get everything back, which is perfect. Okay, so now locomotive engine. Um, you know what? I'm actually thinking that we don't need to put the engine in the center anymore. I'm thinking we have it on the side here. I'm thinking we utilize our space a little bit better. You know what I mean? All right, so we put that there. And then locomotion, we're going to need the engine. Okay, so there's that screen. And then we're going to need our power screen, which we're going to just put right next to that. See, that that looks so much better. And then I have all my storage right there. Okay, perfect. That looks so much better. And then if I don't even know what else we could throw in here, but, you know. Oh, the dynamo. We could probably throw a dynamo in here at some point. Um, and then, you know what? There was a... We don't have any of this stuff. Architecture. We do have stairs, which is actually kind of cool. So we could build up if we needed to. Okay, so we need... I think we need to get the dynamo going here. Let's see. Let's take that. Nope, I didn't want to drop it. I want to use this. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and charge it again. Let's go see if... Uh, let's go see if our friend has any more scrap. I don't think so. But you know what? Maybe. <laughs> oh, he's got another 15 material. Wait, did he add 15 or did I... Leave 15 there. No way. Does our bot friend go out and get me Maybe he's harvesting that big pile of stuff over there. Okay, so now we have, wow, we got 15 more things. That's like amazing. <laughs> that is fantastic. I wonder if he keeps bringing more stuff. Cause if he does, then like, we could build our whole train and just be done. <laughs> uh, let's take the used batteries. Cause we need to throw those on there. Uh, we need material and then we need the smart material and tech scrap. Okay. Your stamina is low. You'll start losing health when your stamina reaches zero. You can eat or drink to gain stamina. Okay, so let's take an energy drink and we'll drink that. That gives us uh, food again. Um, all right, now for the power, the dynamo, we need two mechanical parts. Let's see if we can get a mechanical part going here. So we get one and then we need two more smart material. So we'll go ahead and make another smart material. Well, we're going to make two more of these and then another mechanical part. And then we'll see if we can get the dynamo going. <laughs> All right. So we have the mechanical components now. I probably don't have the dynamo. Yeah, I need two more smart material. Okay. Okay. So dynamo. Let's fit, we'll fit in like, oh, I don't like that. We'll put it in right here. And we'll see how this goes. Okay. So train power is full. Oh, right there, 500, 500 rate, plus 50 per minute. Indoor lights on, indoor lights off. There was no indoor lights. <laughs> State engine off. Okay, so we've got the dynamo, we've got that. We've got we've got everything, everything's looking pretty good here. Um, Now, let's see, what do we do here? Do we go ahead and just start storing everything that we can? And I guess it's, is it time to head off? Okay, so I think what I need to do, I think one thing I need to do before I go, I think we need to go grab all the plants and try to make as many energy drinks as I can. Just because I don't know what we're going to come across in the future, and I'd rather have those at my disposal. So I'm going to go ahead and go grab all of these little blue plants and then possibly go in and make them all into, <laughs> make them all into energy drinks. Okay, we're going to go ahead and check... Um, we're gonna check the scrap thing again. See if it's actually filling up or if I'm just crazy. <gasps> it's actually filling up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just stay here forever and get as much scrap as we can. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, I've captured all blue plants, I think. I think I've gotten them all. So uh, I even went up there and grabbed all the ones from up there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go make our energy drinks here. That way we can take them with us and then we're gonna head off. We're gonna see what uh, we're gonna see what this has in store. I have been constantly going back and getting the more scrap from the the little robot deal. Uh, robot deal is amazing and fantastic, and it's it's actually great because it kind of prevents you from getting stuck. Because like I was thinking, oh, did I not? Oh, there's an energy drink right there. Did we wait? Did I not finish clearing this one out? I gotta swear I clear. I did clear this one out. I don't know. Let me see. Do we have anything else in here? Or is this when my inventory got full? No, we already cleared these out. This is there's nothing in here. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, so let's go in here. Let's make some energy drinks. Oh my gosh, these take 60 seconds. Will that make one? <gasps> no way. I don't even have to be here for it. Awesome. Okay, cool. 
All right, so we have a total of seven energy drinks now. I think we just made six, which is fantastic. Uh, we're, we're one shadow breeze short uh, plant-wise, but let's go ahead. Let's get out of here. Actually, you know what? One more quick stop to the uh, to the scrap deal because we, we could use the scrap. We can use the scrap. We need it. I'm a hoarder. I need everything. Oh, he's bringing, he's bringing one back right now, too. Okay. I think every trip that the little robot makes is a uh, is a scrap, so... We'll wait till uh, wait till it comes back. We'll grab the scrap and then we're heading off. We're gonna see. I'm 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 excited to see where this goes. Oh, I'm excited. Come on, little robot friend, go get it. Yeah, put the scrap away. Thank you, thank you. You are doing most excellent work. All right, and then give me that five more scrap. Let's go. All right, we're rolling. We're doing it. We're gonna. Well, roll. I don't know if we're rolling. I don't know if there's wheels on this train or not. I think it's a uh, hovering. Oh, hold on. We gotta charge this battery. We gotta charge up this battery because we, you know, like, we're gonna be gone. We're not gonna have any power. I don't know what we're gonna do. Now, I don't know if we're gonna go from station to station here. I'm not sure. Not exactly sure how this whole thing works, but we're gonna we're gonna head off. We're gonna see what happens. All right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, we gotta go open this door. Let's see, where was the thing at? All right, unlock gate. I guess it's I guess it's time. It's time to do the things. Turn engine on. Oh, we just lifted up. Oh, snap, here we go. Oh, we're on our way. We're on our way. What's the power look like here? 474, oh, it does, it goes down pretty quick, doesn't it? I guess we should leave those closed. Should I spin this? Your train got no power. What, oh. Is that how much power I'm getting it? Oh, wow. That takes a while, doesn't it? Okay, hold on. We can't see anything. Okay, what's over this hill? Oh, I'm super curious. What do we have? Oh, you know what? Solar panels would be great. I just realized because there's, we're always on the sunny side of the planet, right? Storm and weather forecast. A storm is forming. The temperature will drop significantly during storms. It's better to be indoors. Also, you can check the forecast inside the control center's main room. Oh, <gasps> there's another, there's another place. Okay, so I don't see, I see info, I see this. Wait, so if I'm going downhill, will it like coast on its own? Not really, okay. Good to know. Uh, we're definitely coming up to another town though. That's exciting. Uh-oh, it's getting dark though. Is that because we're in a storm? Oh, this is so cool. I don't know why this is so much fun, but it is. It's so neat. I'm excited to go to this next town. Oh, oh, there's there's red gates over there. Oh, that's that doesn't look good. So is there going to be a station here or is there going to be? Oh, there's blue flowers. Blue flowers everywhere. Wow. Could all stop and get those bad boys. OK, so we're in a storm right now. Oh, yeah, see, it looks terrible. And there's a little red storm icon above my um, above my stats. So we're just going to go ahead and hang out in here for a little bit. And then once we get close here, I wonder if there's gonna be a station or if we're just gonna stop in the middle of the, the thing. Is that a station? That doesn't look like a station. No, there's no station here. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just stop here. Engine, oh, there is a station, station right there. And it looks like the minus is like a break. Oh, we're getting power slowly. I guess while we're in here, cause we can't really do anything. We might as well go ahead and charge this bad boy up. Or maybe if we're close enough to a station, it gives us power. I'm not actually sure. Do we need to wait the storm out? Anna Ranger. Oh my gosh, there's so. Oh, there's a whole thing up there too. <gasps> there's things everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. But that's gonna end this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more, leave a comment. Again, this is Heat Death, Heat Death Survival Train. Yeah, interesting name. Doesn't really roll off the tongue very well. Heat to Death. <laughs> um, but yeah, interesting. It's really cool. I'm actually, I'm really enjoying it so far. So yeah, if you're interested, I'll have a link down below. You can check it out for yourself. But that's going to end it for this episode. So uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.